everyone. How you doing today? Hello everyone. How you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to solder back in a riser from the motherboard if your riser is actually off. People will keep asking me how do you solder it in, so I'm gonna show you guys. So here's a riser. I'm gonna desolder this and I'm, I'm gonna solder back in. If you have a sensitive component around it and you don't wanna hit the marble with a plastic, buy yourself a foil tape. These are like a, from uh, air conditioning type. Just cut a foil tape, cut in different pieces. And your motherboard has to be off, all the batteries has to be removed and you can easily isolate the motherboard. Don't worry about anything, it's not gonna shorten or anything like that. It's totally fine. Once you isolate everything, all the components, some of them you don't need to, nothing happens if you don't isolate, as long as you don't put excessive heat. Rip. Now that we have isolated some of them, you can actually cut from here. Put it on the other side. There. You, all you need to do, grab yourself a little bit of flux. You can buy any type of flux for this work. You would have put a flux all around the riser. And in this case, I'm showing you how to remove it. So let's say if you have a stock riser and you want to remove. So let's do, show you a process of how, how to remove it. All you need to do uh, is a heat gun. You wanna set your heat gun at, I'm gonna set it right now at 460, or you can go with 360 too. Uh, all you need to do, you need to grab a tweezers. All right, and now you're gonna heat it up. And the flux is gonna help that the solder joint, it just melts faster. And there we go. So that's how you remove your, your risers. Now let's say if you have a, based on a, many of the laptops, when the heat sink, the riser, it comes off the solders. People are like, oh, can I put a super glue on it? Something like that, no. All you need to do is isolate the area and grab your riser you do not want to put any solder inside the hole because otherwise the screw is not going to go through. All you need to do is put a flux all around here. And you want to grab your riser, put it right on top, make sure it's straight. In order to keep it straight, you can use a, a toothpick or any kind of... I use this kind of... Not a toothpick, what do you call this for? Barbecue stuff. So, our uh, wood is perfect because it doesn't absorb heat. All you need to do to put this one is not going in because there's a solder right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this solder first, the excessive of the solder. We're gonna use a wick. And 
the iron station. There we go. Now that's clean. So the riser should go in very easy. I'm guessing that there's more, what do you call? There's solder all around this one. So I'm gonna put it right on top. I'm gonna heat it up with my solder station while I'm pushing it down. It's gonna melt and there you go. As you can see, now the riser is right in place. But there is no, uh, it's not actually, it's just sitting there. So while I'm holding it there, I'm gonna add a little bit of flux all around it. Just a little bit. Now you wanna grab a corn iron, you wanna grab a little bit of the soldering and you want to hold it in position 90 degrees and you want to solder around it so there we go and the solder will just go automatically all around so if you want to do a little more on the other side you can hold it Grab a little bit of more solder. There we go. As you can see, I'm not putting any solder right in the middle where the screw goes. So I'm just holding it. And that's it. And for cleanup, you can just go ahead and remove everything. Grab an alcohol, put an alcohol, 100% alcohol, and then with a toothbrush, you can just clean the extra solder. Or you can use a Q-tip or anything else. You can just grab a Q-tip, with a Q-tip you can just clean all around it. Even if you don't clean it, it doesn't do anything. It's not conductive. And that's it pretty much. Now you gotta fix up your, and this is how you fix up your broken riser. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.